Okay. Okay. Seems like we're live. Let's continue. Um, that's right, I was just figuring out how to get these four belts into six of these without uh, without having a giant splitter merger. Uh, we're going to need to move these train stops, unfortunately. Hopefully that won't cause too much trouble. Still got the train stop names. This is connected. Should be okay. And this goes here. And then... Uh, I think I'm forgetting what comes on the other side. Let's make sure. It's just splitters, basically. Okay. Uh, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six places for this to go. So, I guess... As long as it's going to be, like, saturating it, I guess it doesn't matter that much. This should be fine. And that means we can move this a bit closer. Not that close, obviously. We're going to need one, two, three tiles, I think. Hey, Kano. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's an output. Inputs are over here. Is that still the same map? Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. So... That's going to go there, and just copy this to the other side. It might not line up tile for tile, but it'll show us about where these things go. And that's actually totally fine. We're missing some of this. Except we don't need this one, this one, or this one. Fantastic. Let's grab ourselves some more belt. Good, good. What are you building? Uh, we are building a block in the rail system that is going to deal with uh, cryonite core fragments brought in from other planets. Um, probably it would help uh-oh. Probably it would help if I wasn't starving my bots of power. What is this? Oh, it's that chest. I should probably make some room for that. I never used core fragments aside from the ones mined on Nalvis. Um, these are just a little bit more complicated. Uh, so far the pattern that I've seen is... Actually, I think we can just look at the recipes from here. Um, the ones I've been dealing with so far, you get regular core fragments and then some other stuff out of them. Uh, cryonite is a lot like that. Uh, iridite, very similar. It's going to give us way more cryonite than everything else. And I think oil is probably... We're going to have to deal with fluid coming out of that, but I don't know whether we'll end up bothering with oil 
for fragments or not. In any case, uh, the recipes we've got set here are for Crynite Core Fragments. Oh, there go the bots. And the only question is, how much space do I want to dedicate to this before making some room? I don't know if I want to use the whole block for um, just the regular core fragment processing. And then we'll use a different space to deal with cryonite itself. Design, uh, design wise, that would be the easiest way to deal with this because I just need to output the stuff to different train stations. Or I could do some cryonite processing on site here, but dealing with all the different outputs uh, is going to get a bit messy, I think. I need more pulverizers. I thought I brought a lot of pulverizers. Let's go get some more, I suppose. Oh, they're in this um, chest. There we go. So, I'll build these out and double check the rate. We've all got... Well, we need to power them to check it with beacons. Rate calculator says... Unpowered beacons will not be counted. Okie dokie. Uh... It really is unfortunate that these don't quite touch. That should be everything. You need cryonite processing for the regularly mined stuff as well. So I wouldn't I would keep them separate. Yeah, that's a good point. Although we are only sending cryonite to Narvis via Cryonite core fragments, but it would make it way simpler and easier to scale up. So I think we might just stick with that. Snap to grid relative, get rid of these ones. And we should be able to just line these up and fit three times as many. Hey Mobel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I forgot the part where these belts need to connect. And I think as much as... Where is it? Let's check if this hasn't jammed again. That seems to be working just fine. And there's a train on the way now, actually. Is this it? Yep. Um, unfortunately, we had to manually interfere with this system to fix it earlier. Although I have learned that I can do that from another planet. But even if it only breaks one time in a thousand, and even if it shouldn't, I think I would rather build a system that just works. Especially since we've only got three outputs to deal with here. Um... I was going to say I could do three different train stops, but actually I would need to combine them a bit here. Hey, Carenza. Thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Four months already. Wow. 
Whoop, that was close. That's about as long as I've been doing this, isn't it? Much appreciated, thank you. Is that? There we go. And thanks for stopping by today as well. Can your train system prioritize stations? Like, use the waste stone from your new cryonite plant before allowing trains to pick up stone from regular mines. I think that's what scared me away from core fragments last time. Uh, yes, I am using LTN uh, to prioritize stations. Um, but another thing I've done is I've got a system to just destroy excess resources. Um, it's kind of unfortunate that it has to be done, but it's either that or infinitely build out extra storage space until the end of time, if you want to keep core, uh, core mining going. Because you have to have a sink for... Well, you have to use up all of the resources to gain more. OMFG Lamel. Good to catch a live stream. I usually watch the VODs during the day here in the US. No worries. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I might have to do a dual loader station. Um, whether I like it or not. Let's see. If we're getting one resource... We're, we're getting barely any stone out of the entire thing, I think. I was thinking I could maybe set up an even safer way to load multiple resources at one station. But theoretically, the system that I already built should already meet that criteria. Um, but I was going to set it up so that there's only one inserter with a stack size of one inputting into each cargo wagon. That would take forever to load anyway. But we're basically already doing that with the circuit that I use. I've actually run out of productivity modules. Yoink. So all we're going to do here is filter these outputs to different train stops. Um, the two slowest ones can come over to this station. And we'll have to do a sort of multi-loader system for that. Thought about just launching my scrap and unwanted resources to a trash planet. <laughs> Your solution is more efficient though. I never thought of that. I guess you could do it that way. Uh, let's see. How should we... Should I do another line of these? It might get a bit tight if I do that. This is probably more than enough. We've got um, 90 of these, which will give us surprisingly little, just under 30 cryonite per second. Oh wait, it's not powered, um, so the beacons aren't getting counted. Wait, that doesn't look right. This one doesn't have an input. Okay then. Uh, I think I may have done something wrong copying the snake belt down. So let's try that again. This goes between the beacons and between the beacons. 
Oh, this does have an input. So that was probably unnecessary. It would overflow with the rocket cargo pods at some point. Would probably make a good Reddit post. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, let's flip the middle one around. And I guess we'll put that there. And that goes there. And then we'll copy that for all of the input belts that are down the middle. That one, that one, that one. We just did this one. Okay, cool. So this goes here, here, and here. That should be fine. That just leaves the output belts. Also this one over here. Um, I think for the ones on the outside, we'll just make it a straight belt. Might look a little bit less sketchy. Should have left the substations where they are though. Actually, that's a lot of substations down the middle. Whatever the case. Where should these fit? I think where the beacons are makes a lot of sense. Assuming there's always something to connect to it. On the other side, right about there. That should not be there. Or maybe there's a just a neater way to connect it anyway. Some more undergrounds, and this goes here. Whoops. I think that's about it. All right. A hey, crickly. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're gonna need some substations covering this. Uh, I'm a little bit sad that that doesn't bridge the gap. All right, first things first. Uh, we'll do some splitters. Should we merge it all through here or... The whole thing actually does Oh, hang on. That's why I needed power everywhere first. Well, 
we need it to get rate calculated to give us the right answer. Oh, this beacon's missing as well. Gotta have beacons. Where are you? I forgot to move this. Oh, that's okay. I was already planning to do it this way. Piccadollies is a pretty good mod. Um, this, I think, we'll just remove. And... Many cursor key presses. Uh, this is going to get cut and pasted. Actually, I'll just leave that out for now. Okay, that goes here. And I think it's right side. Have to have it a little bit further from the middle than usual in order to make this work. There's a lot less, uh, much fewer core fragments in this one. We'll just pick it up and move it the traditional way. And I need more of these. Got my booster yesterday. Yesterday I was fine. I was after the booster boulder. Uh, but today the world crashes my head. Yeah. I just got over my booster. Um, it really knocked me out for a couple of days. In fact, uh, I think I mentioned this, but as far as I know, this is the first time I've had a cold fever, which was a little bit scary because I didn't know... I didn't necessarily know what it was. Okay, and then we need some power. Right about here. Don't forget to let LTN... Oops, not that one. Let LTN know what we've got. And same thing over here. Substations fit wherever is the most snug. Wait, where does that reach to? Just the middle. This will do, I suppose. I just had some headaches while the chip was calibrating. Yeah, how's your Wi-Fi now? Uh, that, I don't think, should have a priority. Oh. I guess we're prioritizing the middle here. But, that doesn't look right. Hmm. I suppose I could move the... Yeah, that'll work. If this goes here, and then like so, Wi-Fi isn't necessary anymore, it's all 5G now. Fantastic. Alright, and put this back so that we can see how it looks when this goes through here. Wait, what? Oh, that's the wrong... I should just set this to anything. Uh... Yeah, anything. What? 
Oh, it's empty already. Okay. And I guess that... I was going to say I guess that means I could have moved all this up a tile, but thankfully not with the positioning of that uh, constant combinator, which I could move just for aesthetics, but I'm not going to move the entire thing for that reason. Um, I don't think we'll necessarily get room for another uh, 10 pulverizers if I do that. So let's see. I think instead of having two rows of um, chests here, what we'll do instead... Oops. Is have the two really slow resources share this row of chests. And that goes there. We need a arithmetic each divided by 24 chests, negative. Get the negative average. Uh, so we're getting the negative average for each resource separately. The total in these chests. Give that negative average for each resource to our uh, filter inserters. and set filters blacklist. So we'll get zero for average, a negative number for um, a negative number for below average, and a positive number means above average, because we're reading with the red wire what is in this chest, and the green wire is the negative average of all of them. So any positive value will become a filter here, therefore we set it to a blacklist and decide what to pick up based on that. I'm still yet to get booster too soon now and antibodies too high, but last couple of days is such terrible weather that I legit don't know if I catch cold or Omicron. Oh no. Are you somewhere where testing is a problem? Let's see. What's the max rate? I need the beacons. I forgot about that. Beacon. I think that is all of them. We're just missing some blue inserters, it looks like. And some undergrounds. Never mind the undergrounds. Dark sky full of stars. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That is a lot more than I was expecting. Uh, wow. Okay, I think this is more than enough for... Probably all of the cryonite planets that we're ever going to have send core fragments back here. Um, yeah, this will do. But it does raise the question of what we're going to do with the output. Um, it's about three... It's about 430. Uh, which is nine and a half blue belts. A Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's see. We've got five belts for output here. Maybe I should limit the number of... Um, this is 
One, two, three, and a bit. What if we get two rows with the beacons? That's two belts. That's not much. Uh, 180 is four belts. One, two, three, four, five. That's too much. Unless we change the shape of this. I could maybe somehow find a way to have double output belts between these beacons. Or if I'm thinking that's a possibility, maybe maybe it is possible. I was going to say maybe it's possible to like get triple output belts going down this way, use some undergrounds, but then if I have that many belts coming down here, what am I going to do with the actual train stops? Going to need a lot more space. Um, I kind of wish I hadn't accidentally processed a lot of these resources. It's going to be a bit messier than I would like cleaning this up. 180, that is four belts. Plus two belts, plus a bit. So we, we'd need seven output belts for that. We have five. Hmm. Seven is quite a lot. Maybe we should do some processing on site. Input is only four belts now. Uh, I mean, apart from a couple of tiles that I missed. Yeah. Not really sure what to do about this. It's so much faster than I was expecting. I guess I could just um, swap out some of the speed modules for efficiency. That might be reasonable. I don't really want to reduce the number of machines and then try and do cryonite processing here because I think it's going to end up pretty messy. Uh, so, how many efficiency modules 3s do I have? Uh, 15 beacons. We could do 3 of them per beacon. Where's my module inserter? Beacon... And go. And once the bots have finished replacing those, let's see what we get. Uh, power consumption is still plus 370%. Oh well. Uh, that's more what... Wait, what? That's still... 4, 5, 6, 7... Alright. Let's get some more efficiencies. And actually... Before I ratio change the ratio of this even more, I want to figure out exactly what throughput rate I'm going to aim for, um, which is going to depend on right. It's going to depend on the shape of this part. Uh, 
I guess we should do the same thing here, maybe. No, that can just be stack inserters. If we... If we do it this way... Cryonite goes straight. And we could do like four belts of input down this way. I think we've already decided not to do what wait what? As much of as that. This would actually be four belts of cryonites. Just under four belts of cryonite, so that's perfect. Um do the same thing over here. And something similar over this way. Oh. I forgot we weren't merging four output belts. One, two, three, four, five. That is a nuisance. Maybe just cut the outer two rows of crushes. It's a pretty cramped block. I mean, we've got plenty of space down here. The only trouble is... Having to... I think we're going to have to merge everything, Ryanite-wise. Let's see, 5 to X. That is way bigger than I would like it to be. Do we have room if we do it this way? One, two, three, four, five. So this would go directly here, and so on. And would that actually leave room to get the other stuff out of the way? The other stuff is going to be more than two belts, unless I add more efficiency modules. Which, maybe I will. Considering we're still at like plus 370% power. Hmm. Uh, we should have room for more than... More than enough output belts, though. If this goes here... And that goes there... That should be okay. I'll remove these power poles for the moment. Same thing over this way, I think. Except... Now we need to be able to merge more of them. Hmm. Should probably look something like... That. that makes more sense. And we don't need to keep adding belts after that. So this one goes here. Um, 
maybe we can copy this part. Wait, that's not right. I guess we could... I guess we do need a bit more room down this way. Because we need that one to merge in. There isn't really a neat way to merge into three lanes. But it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure. So that goes there. Uh, we do this again. And then... And then we have three belts going into this awkwardness. I guess we use a three to four balancer. Wait, we only have two types of resource. I was going to say we only have two types of resource coming in, so they could use a side of the belt each, but that's not going to cut it because of the amount of regular um, core fragments. Uh, anyway, this is going over here, and that's looking fine. I'll use some underground so we don't have to put belts everywhere, tidy it up at the end. The only concern I have here is... We need to do a, um, a sushi merge at the end. I think we'll just do it like this. A priority output. If anything makes it past all this. Actually, that can go there. Let's start with the undergrounds this time. Make it symmetrical. That's unfortunate. It's even less symmetrical. Can we fix that? I guess I can live with that. And we need to input priority as well. That should be sufficient. Okay. That's the wrong side. Well, that wasn't as complicated as I almost thought it was going to be. Wait, did I not leave room for these? Don't tell me. One, two, three, four, five. I think we can make this work. Yeah, we just need an underground. Lucky. Very lucky. And that goes there. 
Uh, this goes here. And... So on. Lord Platypus. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Young Jesus. Welcome, welcome. Hi, I've seen some ore on Stone Belt, and also one splitter is not right. Uh, sure, let's see what we've got. Uh, the stone and the uh, regular core fragments are supposed to be together. Was there another issue? Oh, that shouldn't be there. Wait, 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 that definitely shouldn't be there. I was just trying to fix this bit. Real quick. Um, that should be good enough. Bad boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, let's see. Substations. Where would be the neatest spot? Maybe here. That almost works perfectly and makes me sad. I guess we'll do that. Uh, we also need these two. I could do this. That does power everything. I don't know. Is that horribly unneat? Or is that totally fine? There should not be cryonite here. I'll take that. Looks like that's working okay. It does have to be a regular filter inserter, so it can have two filters on it for the blacklist. And that goes here. Cryonite needs power as well. It's blocking the whole thing. Um... I guess we're not going to have this fit anywhere convenient. Hey, Triple X Poser. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess here works. And then we need to connect these columns. I guess we're just going to have to put some big power poles up the top. Uh, that's going to be really messy. Let's make them substations. How about here? That'll do it. Gonna make test tomorrow just to be sure that I won't infect someone by accident. Likely just regular cold. Encountered COVID already, sadly before vaccines. Still don't know how I get it then. Started to work from home even before the pandemic, unfortunate. So I doubt it's the third time. Feels way worse than minor discomfort. Yeah, definitely. Well, usually. It can vary quite a lot. Still have both natural immunity and the full vaccine. You can get uh, reinfected pretty easily though, right? Don't know how long the immunity lasts. I actually asked my doctor about it and 
they pretty much said you could get reinfected immediately. Which was a bit of a surprise. That might be an extreme case, though. Uh, let's get rid of all this stone. Wait, what? Didn't mean to put it on the ground. Thank you very much. That looks a bit unsightly. Okay. Now we need our uh, pickup stations. And... Uh, we're going to need the fancy circuit for this one, but not the one on the left. Let's set this up first. Stack threshold 160. Connect to thing. Uh, connect to chests. Copy, paste. And then... Wait, I guess we didn't need filter inserters for this part, after all. So let's replace those. And change the name of this station. Ionite. Pick up. And this one is uh, core, fragments, and stone. Provider. And let's get started on that circuit. So the first thing we need to do is read what's in the... Uh, read what LTN is asking for, minus what is in the train already. Each times negative one, output each gives us the negative of what is in the train. Uh, Sorry, read train contents is what we want there. Uh, this will give us the stone or core fragments that the train is asking for. And the next step is... I think I made a blueprint for this so I didn't have to do it over and over again. Remove encoded. There we go. Negative a million for each of these signals. And then we do each greater than zero. Output each input count. Um, how should we shape this? Like so. That looks a little bit messy, but I can live with it, I guess. Um, so those two need to go in here. And this goes in here directly, and not anywhere else. And then... Uh, we need to... Each divided by 24 chests. Output each, and output S for stack size, set filters, set stack size to S. Which one of these did I? Make absolutely sure. Okay. So we're setting the filters and the stack size for all of those. And then if we're down to less than 24, whoops, each less than 
24 output each one. And that's going to connect to just one of each stack, in, uh, for each cargo wagon. And we don't need to set S because stack size, when you set stack size, it's set to one if there's a signal missing. And then we just connect this up here. Substation for the middle. And that should be that. Oh, and we need to make this a higher priority than normal, I think. Because if this gets clogged, it'll clog the entire thing. Uh, priority... I get like a hundred. And then this side, I think, is already done. You understood to... Well, it'll, yeah, it'll reduce the symptoms, the severity, and how likely you are to spread it. I believe you're still running that two-way rail system. Why not? It's been working great. Especially, well, it's a it's a two-way rail system. Um, the roundabouts, the trains can go both directions, and everywhere else it's left-hand drive. So if you connect to a roundabout, the trains can come in and out in both directions makes it very easy to make uh, stations coming off of it. Is that already full? Oh, I didn't do a balanced loader here. Um, we should probably do that. I could do like a not so strict balanced loader. Like... Connect all of these. And then... Oh, I think I can foresee what's going to happen here, actually. No, I have an idea. It's fine. We'll read this. Hold. Read hand contents. Hold. And everything has to be greater than seven. What are you doing? Oh, I see. Can I uh, get the same settings on all of these? That wasn't the behavior I was quite expecting. Read hand contents hold. Oh, some of these are stuck because they've got stuff in the hands. Why are, why is it turning on and off? Read hand contents hold. Everything greater than set. Oh, because we're using everything. Okay. Because if you look at the description, it says it's true when there's no inputs. Uh, cryonite greater than 7. So we should see all of these stop until this gets full. And then they'll all pick up at once. Pretty sure your straights can deadlock on their own, which is terrifying. Uh, no, the straights can't deadlock on their own. I did make that mistake previously, um, but I learned how to do better. So the straights, uh, this part here is left-hand drive only. Um, the trains are not allowed to 
to exit this intersection going this way or going this way from here. Do you stream on weekends? Uh, yes. Uh, my schedule's been a little bit sketchy lately because, well, lots of things. Um, but mostly getting sick and then having to get over the booster not long after that. Uh, but I should be more consistent in the near future. Uh, what for GPU do you have? I don't remember which... Let me see if I can look it up real quick. GPU Z. I thought I was standing on the tracks for a second there. I noticed I've been trying to catch a stream for 10 days straight. Yeah, I've been starting a bit later than I used to, unfortunately, because I couldn't count on getting through a long stream, especially with uh, my voice as it was. Uh, GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. It's supposed to be pretty decent for that price range for now. If I recall. Um, okay, so I think that's finished. I'm surprised I haven't had a train coming to collect any of this. There's probably just not enough stuff yet. Uh, only 12k four fragments. Fair enough. I thought I saw some resources on this belt. I did. We're missing some blue inserters. Uh, let's see. Blue inserters. Health grow, factory grow. Yeah, one one has to come before the other. Otherwise it's going to be a short term, it's going to be a very temporary state of affairs. But I think I'm finally getting to the point where I can get back to my old schedule. I was also getting a lot of uh, persistent fatigue. I was actually getting worried that it wasn't going to go away. But it looks like we'll be okay. Haven't accepted my request to explain myself, if you still want to resolve my bet. I didn't receive another message from you yet. Can't message you? Let me double check that. Uh, you're not blocked or anything. You're only accepting direct messages from friends. That might be why. As in, I'm not the one who's only accepting direct messages from friends. Need to re-log? Uh, yeah, no, I don't think that's the issue. Uh, don't need to carry a hundred industrial furnaces, do I? Definitely not. Oh, wait. No, I might actually need those. God damn it. Well, that's for the next build anyway. Usually because you don't share a server. Yeah, that's the message I got, but I do accept messages from people who aren't friends. I'm pretty sure I do. Let me double check that setting. Uh... Trying 
Direct messages. I don't remember where the setting is. Alright, I'll have a look at it after the stream. Uh, what was it I needed to pick up from here? Oh yeah, uh, efficiency modules. I think I've got enough already. So let's head back. Um, I can't remember which way I want the train to face. Still pending? Oh, you mean the friend request? Well, I can just add this, I guess. That's the easiest way to do it. Cannon shell falling from the sky. Oh, there's a lot of uranium here. Actually, it's not that much. It's because it's a balanced loader. Um, okay. That's gonna go back in the wrong direction, I think. I'll worry about that later. Uh... We need to change the efficiency modules here. That should just about do it. And on the other side as well. And then a uh, rate calculator. Okay. Wait, didn't I already size this correctly? Did I just mess that up? I think I did just mess that up. Uh, let's just undo that very foolish change. And I wonder why we haven't had any more cryonite arrive here in the meantime. How is our uh, new colony doing? Outpost, I guess. We've got... Oh, never mind. There it goes. I guess we just haven't had a whole train load appear yet. Um, all right, rate calculator, just under four belts of cryonite, a little bit more than two belts of the other stuff, that is all fine and good. And the input is 216, that's actually a bit more than four belts, I'm just not going to worry about that. In any case, we've got our cryonite core, frag uh, core fragment processing way more than we're ever going to need. Uh, let's do another rail block. I guess I'll do it up here, since that's going to be the only one that's next to... That's going to be the one that's only next to the um, cryonite over here for now. And away we go. I don't 
really have room. What the? Which one? There we go. That'll let him. The, the bots have to try to place the the wood in here before it goes to the trash slots, unfortunately. Okay. And that's the end of that. So, Cryonite. The first step for Cryonite is crushes. Oh, the bots didn't place that yet. Lurking while at team meeting. No worries. Uh, that's not quite right. That goes there. And then over this way, train stop, right about here. Uh, I, even if I don't use two stops, I want to make sure I know where the middle is. Okay, so let's see. The first step is pulverizers. We turn cryonite into crushed cryonite, um, and then we need chemical plants to make crushed cryonite into washed cryonite. The fact that we output stone here kind of makes me wish we could have combined it into this block, but I think it would have been pretty messy. Um, we also need a water supply that we make sure we'd never completely fill, so that there's room for this to output into it. Uh, it's six in and four out, I think. Yep. From washed cryonite, I think... We then smelt it directly into cryonite rods. And there's no recipe that uses vulcanite blocks for this. Nice and easy. So now the question is just of ratios, getting rid of the stone, supplying the water, and making it all fit together as nicely as possible. Um, I think we'll just have probably one input for these. We'll see how the rate goes. Uh, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Oh, Jesus, ten of them. Wow. Much appreciated. I'm a Google how to gift pie subs. Okay. Uh, thank you, young Jesus. Much appreciated. Ten is not equal to three point one four one. I heard that's true. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, I need to figure out the rate. If we aim for, like, 90 per second... No, wait. It's the cryonite that we need to limit to 90 per second. 
56, that's a lot. Um, and this would output 60 crushed. How many of these would we need to keep up with 60 crushed cryonite? Uh, 74. Okay, I don't think we're going to go that big. And then if we did go that big... Uh, well, it's 74 washed cryonite per second. To consume that... We'd need over... Okay, that's a lot. Um, 200, 400, 450. I might actually end up having to put the furnaces somewhere else at this rate. Um... Let's see. If we put these in a row... How good is the ratio? Beacons? Oh yeah, definitely. I don't think beacons change the ratio if we're looking at these with prods. Um, let's figure that out. What's a good example? I'm not sure right now, to be honest. Uh, well, I guess we could use this example. So currently we'd be looking at uh, not keeping up on this end. 6.33 versus 11.2 crushed cryonite. If we beacon it, can we actually place beacons so that they'll touch all the right ones? I think we're going to end up giving one of these things beacon sickness. Let's put that down there. And... Uh, this goes here. Okay. Grab some power. Fifty seven to fifty six. That's surprising. Oh, because they've got different numbers of productivity modules that they can fit. Interesting. That's actually a really good ratio now. And it deals with just a little bit less than 90 cryonite per second. We could do this on both sides. Block your bank. Block your bank. Oh, because you made, like, an unusual transaction or something? Hey, Boarin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Heincher as well. Welcome, welcome. Burner Guide. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Begop. Good to see you again as well. Welcome, welcome. Um, okay. Let's see how well we can fit these together beacon-wise. Uh, we're looking at seven to three. Beacon in the middle here would touch all three of these. And then I don't suppose... One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven. We could do it symmetrically. Uh, it might be a bit awkward, but... Don't forget to power it. It's actually a really good ratio. 
I don't think... Hmm. How many does each of these use individually? Four per second. I think one stack insert is good enough for that. But the fluids, if we shape it like this, might be a problem. Um, probably. Oh, right. That's not great. This can't go over here, can it? No. Still silly, the thank you message is in Dutch, but I got but you got it anyway. No worries. Alright, let's see. Um I can't move the beacon and stuff down a tile. I could probably do... Hmm. I wonder if I could do, like, the... inputs and outputs on one side? For the physical stuff? Three to seven. That's a pretty awkward ratio, honestly, if we're trying to belt things. Hmm. Since all of these pipes are going to be connected, I guess it doesn't hurt if they're facing one way or the other. Except we have to get pipes on both sides of the machines regardless. Hello, maybe water from outside? Uh, yeah, we'll be getting water from... Well, I was gonna say we'll get it delivered, but since the water is so close, we'll just pump it down. But we will need to have uh, at least one storage tank just so we can make sure we don't completely fill the water so that there's room for the output. Um, the current puzzle is how do we fit all of these under one beacon and connect the inputs and outputs? Hmm. We could do... Kind of simplifies things a bit. I think part of it's going to have to be asymmetrical. We need one of these output pipes to connect somewhere. I kind of need the, uh, if each of these leads to three machines with the pi uh, belt, that'll be more than sufficient. Two is not good enough. Something like that. 9.5 output, that's probably two belts. So that goes to the middle one and the sides. Uh, I guess we don't need that. This one would go... Uh, to here. 
one, two, three. This is kind of a weird build. Actually might need some undergrounds. That goes here. That might make more sense, actually. And then the same thing on the other side. I can't flip it. Chemical plants. Is that right? Output, output. There's no room for this one to have an output. Uh, that's a problem. Maybe I'm being too greedy trying to fit all of these under one beacon. Or maybe I just haven't found the right layout yet. Seven of these to three of the big ones. That's not going to work. No, I think... I think we're on the right track with the pulverizers being as far away from the beacon as possible. In one direction, probably. These two could be on opposite corners, though. Like that. Did I bring all of those pulverizers from before? Yeah, I did. Put a screenshot in your Discord. Maybe it helps. Uh, let's see. Oh. That's space efficient. Doesn't have any giant pulverizers though. But it might help. Oh, I think we've got this. Probably. Maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or even one, two, three, four, five, six. That wouldn't have one in the middle. I don't like that. Okay. Um, I'm still a bit skeptical about whether the pipes are going to work out. To say the least. There's no room for an input for this one. Or at least an input and an output. Unfortunately, they have to be on opposite sides. This is already as far north as it can be. Uh, maybe I should just give up on the dream of making it symmetrical? I'm sure having each of these just take up one tile coming from the beacon is probably the way to go about it, but... Um, just having trouble with the part where we line up the chemical plants.
that much would work. And that would work. And maybe the same thing over this side. Uh, except that's the wrong way around. Um, how much does this do? 28. Considerably less than one belt. In fact, it's a little bit more than half a belt. We can't slide this one in here. Or can we? N no. No, we can't. Unless... That might actually be good enough. We know this can supply more than two of them, I think. Yeah, it definitely can. And the last one in the chain is pointing at five of these. That's more than good enough. I think that's it. Did you build out your science blueprint in space? Not just yet. That is a pretty weird looking build, but um, I'm kind of pleased with it. Okay, let's get the outputs in order. Shouldn't be too difficult. Probably just pretty much copy what we did on the other side. And this should actually connect to itself. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I almost forgot this. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, so close. I was so pleased with this for just a little while there. Let's make sure that goes where I think it does. Hmm. Could we maybe... Make this go around the other way. And then... Over this way. That's not quite gonna work. I could turn this thing... It doesn't really make a difference. I can't put it down here, it won't be in the... It will be in the beacon, though. Okay. Input and output. I think I'd rather put the output somewhere like this. And I guess I'll put that in the middle. Okay, so this one is going to need to... This belt is going to need to start somewhere else. That goes on that side, that goes on that side. They're all going to end up on that half of the belt if we do this. But those two inserters can take first, so it should be fine. Hello, now the bottom right chem plant has no water output connection? Yeah, I know. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. 
That's not quite going to work. Good call. Uh, so Pulsniak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And... I guess this... These are all, these pipes are actually already connected, so we don't need another underground here. Okay, bringing all the inputs and outputs together is going to be a bit ugly, but that's okay, I guess. And we're looking at 34.72 per second coming out of it, the whole thing. And then... And then, and then, and then... I got a bit used to the space belts where we can't get much length out of them. This is kind of a luxury. The only question now is which way the belts should go. Too much stuff is going to end up on one side, I think. Uh, let's see. 34. It's significant. 25 is half a belt. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of these machines. Gives us just under half a belt, actually. That's fine. Therefore, this can go here. Something like that. And then we just need to get this one into the game. That should do. Kind of weird, but should be okay. Now the question is, we can mirror it. We can't use the flip tool, but we will be able to mirror it. We could have a couple of these side by side. And we can do the same thing over here. And I guess if I blueprint it, remove the actual buildings, flip this, and figure out where to put this? Dry what? Dry tree. And then one, two. That should be that. We may as well bring these together. Um, that's already going to be on the outside, so if we do it like this, that'll actually use both sides of the belt, and then that'll give us, uh, not two full belts, but each of these is using up most of one belt. Argy Jimp, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. You're right, hem plant chem plants get no resource from belt because nothing output to this belt. Nothing output to this belt. Or was it No, it was this one, right? Oh. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I thought I was going to do it like this earlier. Maybe I should still do it that way. If this goes here... Hmm. Instead of doing this, it might be easier... 
to do it the way I was almost going to do the first time. Like that. And same thing over here. That should do it. Right of beacon. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that was a lot to save, like, two beacons. But that's fine. We'll probably end up... Well, we'll definitely end up moving this. Oh, the Spidertron's at 89% now. Very exciting. How do you flip your blueprints like that? With the F key, yes. Um, some things it won't let you flip. Uh, if it contains chain uh, signals, for example. Which is why I removed... Which is why I made a blueprint of that and removed the chemical plants and pulverizers before I flipped it. But normally you can do it with just a uh, copy paste. Oh, and it's the other key is R for rotate. Um, I think everyone knows that anyway, but it's just sort of muscle memory. Does that? There's actually a. I can't remember what it is, but sh someone showed me a button that does both flip and rotate in one key press. Not that it's a massive time saver. So it's the blueprint is asymmetrical, you can. Yeah, if it doesn't have something like, for example, chemical plants or refineries or pulverizers that have um, asymmetrical like fluid input outputs, uh, then you're allowed to flip it. G is vertical flip. G is vertical flip. Fair enough. Okay, so how fast... Ah. Uh, I was gonna say, don't tell me we can fit all of this under one substation. That would just be too good. Let's put this here and here, and of course it just barely doesn't reach across. That's a bit sad. Hmm. There wouldn't be a more elegant placement for the substations, would there? Nope. Maybe if... Maybe if that underground was one tile longer. Anyway, that's fine. Let's give it some power. All right, so how much how much throughput are we looking at here? Uh, this is going to consume 86 cryonite per second. So we could do a small one of those uh, stations on each side. Let's drop a 90 per second output. Figure out where the substations are going to fit. 
probably like this. And then... Should probably line this part up with the middle. Just like... This. I'm sure we won't need that many tiles. And go. Actually, we shouldn't need double belts going all the way down. Uh, just here. Nice output, thank you. Mirror and rotate are features that are hard to overestimate. So much time saving. Yeah, definitely. And of course, if you're making something complex and have to mirror it manually, um, there's definitely a lot more potential for error there. Okay. Should we put a... Should we put some rail down the middle to steal the stone? Or should we just have a separate output for stone down the bottom? I think the separate one's probably going to look neater. Let's see. Uh, regular cryonite is what we're looking for here. Uh, that's not it. Cryonite request. Uh, grab our standard drop off. Connect like so, and like so, and if I'm not mistaken, there should be a train coming relatively soon, unless... Uh, I can't actually tell how much cryonite we've got, because I didn't... You know what, let's just put a balanced loader down there, just so we have the combinator to point to. Each... whoops. Divided by 24. Negative average. Whoops. It's not good. Uh, get rid of this connection. Red wire goes here. Everything... Uh, less than or equal to zero. Wait, is it... We get the negative average and the actual amount. So if we're above average, we get a, a positive result. So it should be... Yeah, no, that's right. Uh, first we need to copy this. I guess I'll just remove the excess ones. Might be easier. Cool, so how many do we have here? 38,000. Considering it stacks to 50, uh, we've definitely got cryonite available to LTN. 
So, what's the issue here? 38,000. Request stack, th uh, provide stack threshold is 160. Oh, I didn't set a request, that's why. Bryonite. Uh, two train loads. And we should get a delivery pretty soon. There it is. Now to do the same thing on the opposite side. And right, 90 per second. Should possibly be symmetrical like this. And it looks like it's one tile off. That's fine. Stack insiders go here. It's already powered. All right, so now we need water. Um, there's actually, I thought this was water for a second there, or at least there would be a little bit. I kind of want to set this up so we could copy paste it, but it's really not much effort to get water sorted out anyway. So let's just go up here and make a pipe. Uh, offshore pump. And where should this line up? About here. Might be best. Going to need to be able to measure to see if the fluid network is full or not. Uh, water has to be less than 15,000. We also need some power. Let's just put that here, actually. And then, why do I have no undergrounds? Is the train still here? It is not. Let's bring it back. Actually, is there pipe here? There is no pipe. Also, that is facing the wrong way. That'll fix it. Ninety-two percent on Spidertron. This is getting exciting. And then I don't think we're gonna need that much pipe, so I won't bother adjusting the requests. Let's just design this while we wait. Good enough. Probably good if we connect these. That one's a bit more unfortunate. I'll connect them like so, just so it's consistent. Oh, I am going to need more pipe, actually, than I usually carry. Let's double this. Actually, let's make that 200. Uh, 
over here. And I probably should have made this pipe start over this way somewhere. Can I not make that line up somehow? There we go. Alright. Be gone, pipes. Much better. And this goes down here. Alright, off we go to actually build it. I'll take the taxi this time. Right over to here. LTN Manager gives you an inventory about your providing requesting items. Uh, yeah, I do find that pretty attractive. I think I tried it once and got a crash, though, so I'm not going to be risking it, I don't think, unfortunately. Okay, pipe scoper. Water goes burr up to 15. K oh, missed a digit there. Glad I double checked it. Not that it would have been difficult to fix. Didn't realize I still hadn't filled out those uh, uh, accumulators. Though I thought I only saw like five of them get placed just now. I wonder why I didn't have more on me. Right, so that should keep the pipe network here uh, a bit over half full. Which means we get output. Fantastic. So let's just confirm. I mean, we can see water everywhere. I'm pretty sure it's fine. But the fact that we're seeing 28k for the contents of the fluid system everywhere we look seems to imply that that's all working normally. Nice. Next step is... I think we just cook it into actual cryonite rods, right? Washed One washed cryonite becomes one rod. Um, should probably finish building this part. Well, I guess we could just double this for the rate calculator. What are we looking at here? Uh, 138. Yeah, it's not going to get bottlenecked anywhere else. 138 washed cryonite per second. Which would require an awful lot of industrial furnaces. Um... 
like really a lot. Wait, we're not adding a beacon to this yet. Beacon. Okay. 138. It's more than 100. It's like 108. Yep, there we go. Stone on the belts on the left. Yeah, I know. Because we get stone as a... Uh, we get stone as an output from this recipe. Uh, just a little bit. Um, the ways... There's a couple of ways to deal with it. You can either have different filter inserters to output, or you can filter it off of a belt somewhere. And I think I'm going to go for the belt approach this time. So let's see how many... We're aiming for... We're aiming to fit 108 of these. If we can. Don't know if that's going to be possible. Um, that snap to grid relative should be fine. Where am I? That's a bit much. Okay. If we're going to do them in packs of six for beacon reasons... We're going to end up with 125, and that's because there's a rail chain signal in the way. We actually can easily fit as many of these as we need. The ratio actually works out pretty well. Nice. Okay then, let's just figure out where these go. And... Probably... Actually, I need to figure out how much belt space we're going to need for the output. Um, power, please. Drag this up to 108 input. Oh, that's actually only 85 machines? What? Even better. I think I was looking at the... What was I looking at? Or did I forget the actual number that we're aiming for? A hundred and thirty-eight washed cryonite is what we want to consume here. One thirty-eight... Yeah, yeah, there we go. One oh eight... 138.2 would give us 193 cryonite rods per second, which is more than four blue belts. 100 will give us just underneath four blue belts. Uh, so we'll probably maybe go for that. Which means we'll have no trouble keeping up on this end. Let's see. Whoops. That is not a blueprint. Six, twelve, eighteen, thirty-six. Uh, blanking on how the rest of it goes. Forty-two, forty-eight, fifty-four. But didn't we just need a hundred for both sides? Yeah. 
All right, what's the neatest way to fit 50? There isn't one? That's unfortunate. Maybe like that. Well, they're going to need to be a little bit further apart. Plenty of room anyway. Is that right? No. Okay. So I guess, um, do we really want to merge and, we don't need to merge and split these evenly because it's going to saturate. We just need to get rid of the stone. I could put, I could have this input belt just come down this way and then have Um, stone filtered out like that at the end. Not like that. Since the vast majority of it is going to be washed cryonite, is that going to work? We shall see. That's a nice even number. And that's a nice way to have that connect up. Oh, I did not mean to copy all those big power poles. Alright, so... Substation goes... Maybe here... Where would be the best spot? That one already has a substation near it, so let's take advantage of it. Except this will have to move, of course. Could definitely use some underground belts right now. Wait for passenger. And then I also need some more furnaces. Like, a lot more furnaces. We've got all the chemical plants already. Where's the request for them? Chemical plant, there it is. Uh, a hundred of these. And then, I'm not sure. Let's just grab what we've got here. Can I make some pulverizers? We only need like four of them, right? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Easy. 
So it's just the furnaces that I'm going to have to go back for at this rate. Uh, underground belts is what I was looking for earlier. This goes here. And so on. Hey, I am so. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, that one's going to be a bit different. That's okay. Wait, you can just move buildings? Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, the mod is called Pick a Dollies. It also works on ghosts. In fact, for some space exploration buildings like, uh, Cargo rocket silos, it only works on the ghosts for some reason. Um, it actually works on vanilla train stops as well. The nice thing about it as well is it'll hold on to... Um, it'll hold on to the settings and wire connections and stuff as you move things around. And you can also sideways rotate the uh, long combinators. Mod okay, no worries. Uh, there's also a special bonus use, of, use for it whereby if you have the navigation satellite you can move trees around. There we go. Looks a little bit nicer, I guess. Perfect. Okay. So... At this rate, we're Gonna be a bit short on space. <laughs> you like that, huh? And then this one. goes here. Um, what was the output that we're going to get from this? Just under four blue belts. Okay. That might be a bit tricky. I particularly don't like that we're having to turn six output belts into four again. Um, but yeah, if we don't, oh, I may have forgotten the minor detail of having enough room for the inputs here as well, but I think we're going to be able to make enough room for them. Probably. Let's start by moving this out to the edge. And copy this. This actually only goes one more tile over here. If we really need to, we can turn that into a squiggly input. We might actually have to. Uh, this needs to go two more tiles towards the center. And then... These two are the center. 
there's actually just enough room to do it this way. So that'll work out just fine. Well, I suppose... I don't know if these ones could have shared an input. But... Not particularly fussed. Oh. It goes there. And just to double check... This whole thing's symmetrical, right? We don't need to flip it. Which is good, because we can't. It just barely fits. That's kind of great, actually. We could probably, instead of having the final two furnaces sticking out the bottom like that, maybe if I move the beacons up a bit, Then we could have the extra two up here. It might be a little bit awkward. Um, we can push it up one tile, so what if we do it like that? Well, not one tile, but one entire furnace. So, five tiles. I kind of want to keep the undergrounds where they are. So let's just move the beacons. Thing. Move over one tile, please. Almost forgot you can't flip it. Um, let's get rid of those two. Almost put that in the wrong spot. And then the only tricky bit is... How do we actually get the cryonite to the right spots? The crushed... Uh, washed cryonite. Hmm. I could always turn this belt around. Start from the outside and work its way in, probably. Maybe. I kind of want to go get the furnaces just so that this all looks a bit more fleshed out and we can see what we're doing a bit better. Don't forget some undergrounds. Uh, I thought I was missing some blue belt here. I am. So what are the bots? Oh. I forgot to recharge my bots again. Actually, I wonder if I can just... There we go. We'll steal the power from these batteries for the moment. Oh, there's, there's no charge in them. Well... Okay, now's as good a time as any to take a trip back to base, I think. Um, preferably after we turn the train around, though. Uh, 
Uh, that's not going to work. Where can I send it to make it turn around? I think I'll just let it park and then make it do a lap again. How many slots do the spiders have? I don't actually remember, but we're about to find out. Furnaces, please. They're on their way. So what do we actually need for a Spidertron? Biomass? Girders? Um, everything but biomass we have down here. We can't send biomass by cannon. I have to either go up here for biomass or... Um, like, remote build a rocket to send it down. How much biomass do we need for each Spidertron? Literally just one? Okay. I think we'll take a trip into orbit and just grab a bunch of biomass and bring it back. Um, where does it actually... Here it is. That's not biomass. This is biomass. So we don't have a storage of biomass anywhere. I think I would like to correct that now. Thank you, construction bot. Um, I think it only stacks to 10, right? I saw only 10 of them here. Oh, it makes 10 at a time, that's why. Apparently they only stack to 5. Okay. I guess we'll let that chest fill up, in that case. It's not going to break the loop if we wait for that chest to fill, is it? Spidertron is complete. Fantastic. A Royal, uh, Royal PS2K. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And... What else? I think I'll just take a quick trip and finish what I was doing here first. Actually, no. I'm too excited about Spidertrons. Um, let's just... Is that going to hold the charge? It does. Let's take our um, scaffolding rocket up as an excuse. And what, what should we research next? Something that doesn't require too many... Um, science perks, I suppose. Cargo safety sounds nice. Whoa, that did not take long. Okay, how about uh, reusability? And away it goes. In your train, there are items with blue background. What does this background mean? I have so many hours in this game and don't know so much stuff. Uh, do you mean the filtered slots? Like this. So it's same thing as in your inventory. You can set an inventory slot as only being usable for a certain type of item. Just a middle mouse click, I think, is the default. All right, let's take a little trip, shall we? That's not the one I'm looking for. Scaffolding. Let's go. Oh, is the Nalvis Orbit landing pad empty? Yeah, we're good. Yes, oh wow. Well. Muds? Muds. 
Uh, Wizardnia Messiege. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, it's basically just space exploration plus a couple of quality of life mods. And let me grab this first. Right. What else was I about to do here? Grab the biomass. Biomass. Loop is still going strong. Maybe I should wait for more of this to be taken. I think we've also got it set up so that material science would give us the biomass we need to get that loop started anyway. So I probably don't have to worry about taking too much uh, biomass, actually. I'm actually going to bring the capsule down this way. Capsule goes here. And I can't actually fit this somewhere. Maybe down here. That's not in the robo network. Sad. This'll this'll be fine. I'll just push him across like that. Available commands. April. Uh oh. You should set up your bio for stream commands? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about that. In fact, every time I raid uh, Jay-Z plays, um, they get upset because I haven't put the bio in. I wanted to try space exploration, but I was afraid of managing several planets. Uh best way to manage multiple planets is to make sure that they take care of themselves, I think. Of course, it takes a bit of work to do that. Uh, let's see. So I came here just for the biomass. I feel like I should get something else done while I'm here, but apart from laying down some uh, scaffolding. It's not a whole lot I really want to do at the moment. Will my mega base be successful? Good luck. Oh, away go the bots. Placing a bunch of stuff I didn't realize that they were going to place. After my Bob's playthrough, I refuse to waste another 100 plus hours on one save. <laughs> Fair enough. A Zavoxifol. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, are we done placing random stuff? Um, we need to keep going down this way. A little bit of bot abuse, unfortunate. And that is all of that scaffolding gone already. Doing good, you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, finally, well and truly over the booster side effects, so that's nice. I may actually be back to full-length streams tomorrow. Yeah. 
Much appreciated for the yay. Thank you. And Veldak, you too. Let's grab this giant blueprint again. Oh, that's a lot of applause. Okay, thanks guys. So we need this to go further down this way as well. Okay. I'm way more excited about getting some Spidertrons though. Let's go get that done. I'm sure this is enough biomass to last us a while um, down on the planet. Uh, don't give me that stuff back right now. Just keep it up here. And I should probably figure out... Um, can we do this? Yep, good. Okay, let's lazy automate ourselves some Spidertrons. Right about here, I guess. Feels somehow fitting to do it where the old um, launch system was. Quest a chest. Buffer chest. Spidertron. And we're going to need to get some girders over here. But other than that, should be easy. If we shift right click, shift left click, it is going to ask for way too many things, including 38 exoskeleton legs. Um, can I... I thought one of the mods changed it so that for items like this it just requested enough for one item. I don't suppose if I were to give it the slowest thing possible, we could put that down to a reasonable number without me typing it all over the place. Twenty-four. Twenty-four girders. Four rocket launches. Yeah, that's a bit more reasonable. Because the default will literally overfill the chest. Uh, Sleepy Dove, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we need to get... Apparently rocket control units aren't in the logistic network. They are on this belt, however. I could literally just... Move this over here. And then... Like so. And that just leaves girders. Girders are in the rail network somewhere down here. We haven't had them picked up for any other reason yet. Uh, apparently we need to do something about the throughput of Iridium Plate because this is stopped at 6.9k. We're not sending girders up here, are we? Oh, we are. Okay, then. Maybe it's not so bad. Um, I guess I could... I don't really want to set up a train system to pick up girders just for this. At least not right now. 
let's just go pick some up ourselves. With that amount of biomass, it's going to be a little army of spy uh, spidertrons. Yeah, definitely. And we don't really need to mass produce spidertrons like we did with rampant. Uh, we're probably never going to lose a spidertron, especially without nuke biters. But I would like to make enough of them to have an army of constructors and uh, military squad and so on. Put enough of them together to roll over biters with just lasers and shields so that I don't have to worry about resupplying them. Come to think of it, uh, aren't we already past the... How many shield hit points do you get in vanilla in a single 2x2? Two two? Whatever the case, let's get these into the network. Actually, I'll just take them directly over to this chest for now. That's actually left a bit of space in there. Fantastic. And that was a quick Spidertron. Nice. Okay. That's a sound effect I wasn't expecting. Uh, we actually get... 80 inventory slots. We still can't... Oh, we can filter them. I seem to be... I, I seem to remember there being an issue with using the filter slots, though. Like, in combination with the logistic bots. I could be wrong. We need to give them some power armor things, definitely. Uh, some legs to go a bit faster. I don't think our exoskeleton leg production is... exoskeleton suit production is going to be keeping up. Where is it even? I'm sure I automated it. Maybe I didn't. Uh, I guess I could rate calculate the entire main bus base and find out. Hey, mine mousecraft. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Immo as well. 19.6k cogs here. Nice. Uh, where's the search? Exo. We've got... Okay, yeah, we don't have automation for exoskeleton legs. Or suit, whatever it's called. So space exploration, like Minecraft Skyblock, but in Factorio? I don't think that's quite right. With that amount of biomass... Oh, that's right. You have a lot of scaffolding in space you don't use that you can use. Oh, like stuff that's already placed that I'm not using? Yeah, you have a point. Uh, let's do a lazy automation of... Uh, exoskeletons, and limit it to, I don't know, a faster inserter might be a good idea. So, fifty. Wait, how many is needed for a Spidertron? It's only four. Yeah, fifty's a lot. Okay. 
have some steel. And then... Since we're in a bit of a hurry this time... Alright, that's enough. Right. I guess the first Spidertron has to be my personal Spidertron, right? Call him Spidey. Uh, I guess we can give it some rockets. And... Uh, not looking forward to setting all of the logistics requests. I might just give that a miss for the moment. I suppose we could set requests for rockets. Oops. Anything else I want my personal spider to be carrying? Actually, yeah, I'm not going to have to set them all like with the construction spidertrons, so... Stuff that I want to use to build semi-often. Like a hundred furnaces. Oh. Gotta remove that from my own requests. And since the spider's going to have it, I'll just remove that for now. I can't really think of anything else at the moment. Let's just... We can't jetpack with the spiders, can we? I think I remember asking that. Sadly, no. Very unfortunate. What's not unfortunate is riding a giant spider, though. Oh, we've already got three. Um, I'm just gonna make sure we don't eat all of the exoskeletons. Because I want to put some in here. We've got three on the way. Actually, do we have some solar panels somewhere? Not those kind. Uh, not that kind. This kind. Give to me all of the solar panels, please. On the way, 16. That should be enough. I want my personal spider to be as fast as possible. They just took the legs away from me, didn't they? And where am I... Where are my solar panels? It says on the way 15. There, should... there was 16 a second ago, or did I misread it? Okay. We're going to need some batteries as well. We'll just run over to get those. Don't know what the ratio is going to be like. Should probably give it a shield as well. I mean, I should definitely give it a shield. And a pair of batteries. One more leg, please. Is it on the way? Oh, there it is. Okay. That just leaves the batteries. And we need a remote as well. Easy enough. Except I'm handcrafting a rocket control unit. Unfortunate. 
Uh, where am I going? I'm blanking on what I was looking for. Oh yeah, batteries. One, two. Should be more than sufficient. And this is definitely going to take up my three slot from now on. Where did it go? Except I want the specific remote to take up that slot. Fantastic. Look at him go. So, how far do we get on 5% battery? Not that far, actually. Maybe we should do more batteries. It'll take longer to charge, obviously. You can use the Spidertron remote control in navs uh, Navset just like wires. Nice. Yeah, I was pretty much expecting that. Um, although I do like to have just a muscle memory kind of way to move around with the remote. Cool. Um, I guess I could use... Well, no, I was actually going to say I could put an RTG here and have just three legs. Uh, I mean, I could, but what I was forgetting is they only produce 300 kilowatts. That's literally not even enough to support two exoskeletons. Um... Yeah, it's going to be batteries and solar panels for this one, for now. I love the map pathing you can do with the remote. You mean shift-click? Just queuing up movement orders? Hello, my mousecraft. What do you want to do with the spider? Uh, for now, I'm just really happy that I can just click somewhere I want to go and focus on other things until I'm there. Uh, to be honest, but we've got a bunch of spiders built already. I would like to make a army of construction spiders. There's also a way to send them into planetary. We've only got four, but that's not that bad, actually. Yellow. Construct. So, run. And the only thing that I really don't like about this is having to go through a million logistic requests. Um, but what we're going to give these is a couple of RTGs and some roboports. And some batteries. Oh, and probably one extra exoskeleton leg, because we can fit it. And two batteries. That makes sense. Let's go back and grab some. They deploy from a rocket after landing. Nice. Oh, so if you just put them in a cargo rocket? Is that how that works? Wait, no, don't take it. The battery charge is really not lasting very long with this layout. But I'm thinking as long as I do give it time to charge, that is actually going to get us pretty far. Okay, I guess let's start on the logistic requests. Um, what 
one stack of each type of belt. Probably more transport belts, actually. And some of these. Uh, wait, that should be 800. So that'll be 10 slots. This will be 10 slots. And that leaves us with 60. Um, probably at least two stacks of these. One of these. Two of these and two of these. Pipe. Pump. I'm not going to bother with space. Uh, big electric poles and substations. And then rail. Hmm, how much rail? Like 200 each? Couple of stacks of chain because we use a lot of chain. Uh, not going to bother with the trains. They should definitely have some construction bots. What was that? I think it was a crashing logistic bot. Can they move in space? Uh, I think so. I can remote build an outpost, though I never use that feature. I like to build everything with myself present. Use AAI programmable vehicles mod to make them auto-construct. Um, I've done that. You need another mod, though, to have them recognize where ghosts are. As in the go building ghosts. At least, last I checked, anyway. Lights. Combinators. Uh, crafting. Combinator. Sure. Don't forget the limits. And let's see how we're doing for space. It's already pretty full. That's unfortunate. I, I thought the Spider-Tron used to have a way bigger trunk. Is this like this better Spider-Trons later on? No? Is there an upgrade for it or something? Inventory? Hmm. Uh, what else? What else? If we try to make... Oh, I forgot the splitters. Uh, let's just add those here. And... If we try to make them able to build everything, it's just not going to work. So it's just going to be sort of general purpose. Oops. Fuel refinery. Uh, centrifuge, maybe? We don't often build things with centrifuges. 
industrial furnace. Is there any reason to take regular furnaces at this point? I don't think so. Maybe I should be moving on to just using flat solar panels by now. How is our rocket full of them looking? It's only half full. That's a little bit surprising, but we did take a mostly full rocket of these to another planet not that long ago. AAI structures. Don't believe there's any upgrades to Spidey. Unfortunate. Okay, let's do a save real quick. This is definitely a milestone worth making sure we don't lose. Um, so I guess we'll stick to regular solar panels for the moment. What else? Offshore pump is rare enough that I won't use a slot for it. Uh... I guess some modules would make sense. Efficiency I don't use often enough to give it to every spider. I think that might be military stuff. Okay. Uh... I guess we should go straight to the spiked steel walls. Gun turrets. Laser turrets. Uh, flame turrets. Radars, definitely. Still got a few slots. I guess that'll do for now. Let's see if we can't... There's another six already. Wow. That's actually... getting built faster than I expected. Except we're not going to have the power armor stuff to put in right away. I guess we can get the bots to bring things though. Uh, what are we missing? Exoskeleton and batteries. Okay, why don't we request a few? Exoskeleton. And battery. I may have created a few too many logistic bot jobs at the same time. Just a few. Boxes? Box- oh, boxes, that's a good point. Uh, let's see. Steel chest. Purple chest. Red chest. I could make, like, one construction spider have one type of chest or something, so we don't use a single slot for each and every one of them. But... I'm not really going to bother with that. Okay. Missing personal battery. Because I created way too many logistic jobs. And we're hearing a logistic bot die every couple of seconds, it seems like. Whoops. In my spider? Uh, that might be a good idea. I could stop carrying so many of them myself. Uh, say 
300. Put this down to 50. Maybe I should stop carrying the colored ones. No, I do often find it convenient that they're there when I look for them. Okay, that one's done. That one's done. Missing. Wait, missing personal RoboPort. Oh. I don't know how quickly we're making those. On the way eight, it's probably going to be okay. This is a little bit unfortunate how many bots I'm hearing crash out of the sky. Why did the life support... oh. There we go. And it would probably help if I had more jetpack again. Let's grab some more personal roboports. Probably should have grabbed something else while I was there. Missing two personal roboports. I could steal them from here for a sec. And we just need two more to finish the whole thing. Alright, I think that is all of our construction spidertrons for now. All fully set up. Except that we need a remote. Specifically for them. And it might go a bit quicker if I... There's not, there isn't a way to pick up exactly one of these, is there? Maybe. There we go. Remote. Wait, what? A bot took it. I think... I think the... I've, I've got a strict zero request for rocket control units. Oh well. What was I doing again? The remote. Still can't like draw a box around them or anything. How's our batteries looking? Like 30% full? That's not too bad. Okay, you go, actually this is probably the easiest place to do it. How do I do this again? Shift right click to reset, left click. And then control click. Shift right click, left click, control click and so on. Uh, let me put it here. Much easier. And away go our construction spiders. Except for the last one. Or two. Okay, you please follow this one, you please follow this one. I should probably have had them all follow the leader, actually. I guess it's worth the effort to fix that.
All right, how many more of them? Nope, that's all of them. Fantastic. All right, please head over to our construction area. Fantastic. Make multiple construction spiders and make them follow one, which will have a remote to control. Yes, exactly. Next is some military spiders. Uh, why not the dark green? Let's give them... I just remembered the... I, I don't have the adaptive armor automated. Probably a good idea to do that now. Um, how many steps does it take? Three? Four? Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3, Mark 4. Do we need to do anything special? I think everything is just in the network. Uh, that's too close. And then let's mark two, mark one, mark three, and mark four. That should do it. There goes another one. Uh, limit to, I don't know, 20. And I should probably set a request for them as well. Oh, I already did. Adaptive armor. How long does this take? It's a little bit slow, not really. 10 seconds for each one, I think. Easy enough. And away it goes. Okay, so knowing that that will get sorted out for me. Uh, where's our spider? We can't strike a similar balance in terms of uh, power and such compared to what we would do in vanilla. I want to make sure they have plenty of shielding, but I don't really remember what a large amount of shielding is. 800 is probably overkill. Probably. Although that is what I was using for myself. Uh, how much can this consume? Max consumption, 200 kilowatts. Uh, so an RTG can only deal with one and a half of these when it's recharging. That's really more of a job for batteries. What about the lasers? Max consumption, 173 kilowatts, so less than two of those as well. So, really, I think it's going to be very much a matter of charging batteries before going in. 
at this tech level. Two shield and two laser? Maybe. No, I think it... Maybe like three and three, and then... And then a couple of RTGs. We'll need a few spiders to make this work. We could also have them request uh, rockets, that might help. Like, a lot. Actually, if I get them to request not quite so many rockets, does it still spread it out across these? Or is it all going to stack into the first one? Why shielding vanilla spiders do fine without it? I don't want them getting damaged if they don't have to. I guess the massive number of bot jobs have cooled off. Alright. It does indeed put all of the rockets in the first slot. So... We're going to have to ask for 800 of those. And I guess we can't really afford to have any legs. Which means we really have to commit... Hmm. Or just make sure the fight is short. I could use solar panels and more batteries. I don't really want to do that. Not for the military spiders. What about like two shield and four lasers? That's still 400 hit points. And the recharge rate is 20 per second. We'll give that a try. Uh, so, copy this, and let's get started on making that remote useful. Uh, you can be the leader since you're the first one. Okay, cool. So they've already got all the power armor stuff. This one doesn't have rockets yet. I'm guessing I just have one machine producing rockets somewhere. And I just had a big stockpile of them. I wonder where I'm making rockets. How do you even make rockets? Explosives, iron plate, electronic circuit. Did I use a belt or could it be anywhere? Yeah, I have no idea where we're making rockets. I guess we could add another. I forgot I'm not carrying assembly machines anymore. Um, let's just put this here. One less bot job. And I guess I'll put those in a green chest so we know where they are. Rocket. How fast is this? Eight seconds. No, thank you. Okay. That should take care of that. I wonder why the explosives were being brought from up there first. 
test it on a nest? Yeah. Uh, I would prefer to do it with both of these spiders loaded with rockets. This one's pretty full. This one has no rockets. Alright, let's find a really small nest. I want to make sure... Um, I, I do actually want to try and test them out with not very many spiders so that we can get a better feel for how resilient they are. Speaking of spiders, that's looking good. Uh, let's put this down. Actually, we're not using that slot anymore. Six can be military spiders. The bots get left behind pretty easily at this stage. Apparently we're having trouble with accumulators right now. Should probably look into that. Beacons. We need to get the construction spiders to carry some beacons. Okay, what could we be researching right now? Biological science... oh, um... Vitaic acid. It's another intermediate product. I'm sure we're going to be needing that. Unit capsule. Well, that's a thing we could do. Bio upgrade strength one increases carrying capacity. Nice. What's this one? Intelligence. Lab research productivity. Um, probably should get that first. Bio upgrade dexterity. Crafting speed. Well, hand crafting speed. Movement speed. Nice. More health. I'll take that, sure. You didn't set logistic for accumulators? Did I not? I only remembered the accumulators because the spiders were building them. I thought... I said I set solar panels, so I th would have thought I would have set accumulators. They're right next to them. Soon. As long as we don't run into any space marine biters, we should be fine. Uh, that looks... No, that's a normal size. Alright, they're not about to have trouble with that. Let's try something a little bit nastier. Oh no. Okay, the shields are holding up reasonably well. They are taking damage though. I think we can wipe out a little base like this. Pretty easily. After seeing that I'm thinking at least one more shield. We will have more spiders, of course. We're not going to be sending them in groups of two normally. But yeah, some more defenses might be nice. Um... And let's just bring them back to here. Make sure they can actually get there. Okay. 
just make 20 of them? Oh yeah, I intend to. The only reason we're trying out something like that with only two of them is to get a better feel for uh, how many shields and lasers and stuff they should have. So, definitely more shielding. Maybe even like four shields and just a couple of lasers is like... I don't know. Like in case they run out of ammo, almost. No, I think sh I think three shields is going to be about where the sweet spot is. Also, I should check how much battery they have if I can. Um, not really able to at the moment. Can I get you to stop for a second? Uh, I don't think I can see it from here. Research is getting done fairly quickly. I feel like this would be a little bit better symmetry. Okay. Oh, that's actually all of the little upgrades that I just queued up are almost done. Fantastic. Okay. Let's copy your settings to these two. Oh, except... Yeah, you do have the rocket requests. Good enough. Any more spooters? Yes, good. Missing adaptive armor mark four. Wait, what? Oh, I've only got two of them. Uh, there we go. And then... Please follow the leader. It is really unfortunate that if I want them to automatically load up rockets in all of the rocket launches, um, I'm going to have to wait for 800 for each spider. Speaking of which, how fast are we making rockets at the moment? Reasonably quickly, by the looks of it. Should probably change the requests here, so that's a bit more reliable. And while we're at it... Like that. Oh, and I meant to do this as well. Should be more than enough. Um, I guess I don't mind if they just keep going until that box is... No, yes I do. Rocket. Stop at 9,000. Make sure there's room to bring those back there if necessary. Okay, so how's our production for rockets looking now? Wait, what? No, I just want rockets. Um, we were looking at like 20, uh, wait, is this? Oh, that's the average over this whole time. Yeah. Okay, so we were looking at like 20 per minute maybe, now we're heading up to 50.
Probably going to hover a little bit below 50. 42. Fair enough. So that's like five minutes per stack. That's actually... I mean, in the long run that's enough, but I'm not satisfied with it right now when I'm trying to equip an army of spider trunks. So that'll probably help. Beacon it? That's a good point. And that's a really good fit. Uh, calculated. I meant to do that the whole time. Speaking of beacons, we should probably get our construction spiders to carry them. You're not going to get stuck. Good. Looks kind of weird, like a face. It definitely looks like a face. Some kind of strange koala or something. Let's check and see what's going on with our accumulators. There are no batteries. That's the problem. Um... I wonder where all the accumulators have been going this whole time, though. Like, no pun intended, but we should have accumulated some accumulators by now. Oh. I remember this. I set a timer so that we could change how many of these we stockpiled temporarily. Each times one output each. Oh, it's now at 15 million? We need to reset this thing. Like that. So this will now empty these until this timer reaches some number. And then this will stop outputting. And these things are going to be... Not taking stuff out of the chest unless we've got 2,000... And there go our accumulators for the moment. Fantastic. This is some um, quality time? Yes. Okay. Beacons. It's kind of hard to separate all these guys sometimes. Logistics. Uh, I hate that I put the military stuff next to the modules now. Is it this one? Yep. Are there really only seven of them? Looks like it. Dexterity, that's like crafting speed. So we already got the movement speed bonus. That's nice. And we got another spider. Please follow the leader. Alright, so how many military spiders is this? One, two, three, four, five. And then we're waiting on RTGs. This is the part where it gets slow to make more spiders. That's fine. Um... I kind of want to see how strong our spiders are with the lack of rockets now. 
the military spiders. Just got to be careful about where we attack. Oh, there goes some artillery. I guess that was going to be an expansion. Yeah, it was. There's a bunch of small bases over this way that they can probably handle pretty easily. If I send them somewhere like this, they're most likely to be safer if biters run into them because of the terrain. Okay. What's this? Beacon overload. What did I do? My calculated beacon placement was... Imperfect. I guess I could just move... What's on this belt? Grenades and coal. I can't really move this one. Also, these have no power. That's a bit fast. Probably not sustainable. Or the bots are going to have a heart attack. I'll probably just not worry about... this beacon, actually. Since the uh, artillery wagons are now getting their shells from a dedicated build that is very high throughput. Uh, spiders? Let's go. Actually, let's have... I don't really want to have them fight that group and waste rockets on stuff that's going to walk into the wall. Yeah, that's... That's about the sweet spot, I think. Between firepower and shielding. Definitely. It's going to look a lot better when there's more of them. Okay, do a little zigzag walk into this. Okay, my intention was not to spend more time wasting rockets, but I guess that's what we achieved. This is definitely a little bit easier than expanding a wall with artillery. I know I'm being slightly reckless with this. The point is to test the limits. Really, they're only getting scratched with the actual damage. And it's only the leader. Although, considering with vanilla um, Spidertron remotes, you can't select the group. If the leader dies, it's going to be a lot of trouble. I could just about do this all day since it's been such a long time since I had Spidertrons. What 
We're getting pretty low on rockets, it seems like. The first spider is always fun. Oh yeah, definitely. I wonder how low they're getting on battery, if at all. Usually I include some exoskeletons for speed so I can immediately tell if they run out of battery. Alright, that's about enough of that. Let's bring him home. Probably better keep focusing on them to make sure they don't run into anything actually problematic. No, that'll be fine. Okay, back to base with you. When we get to spiders, I can have my army on multiplayer map and be at 400 to 800 jumps? Jumps. You can draw a zigzag path on map view around their nests. Yeah, I do that sometimes, um, but with so few of them, uh, I don't want to gamble on the timing because, you know, I can manually click to change the direction every second or two so that they'll dodge um, uh, the spit. But if I pre-input a zigzag, they're going to base the dodge timing on actually getting to the destination. So if they end up going very slowly, that's a problem. Pew pew pew. How about leader plus second in command? You mean like have a second squad? Have a repair Spidertron? That might be a good point. Although, I prefer to just not have them take physical damage for the most part and just come back to base if they do actually get a scratch. Normally I wouldn't keep them out there until one of them is down to half health. Uh, rocket survivability, 128 of these is actually getting a bit expensive, right? What other research can we do? That's going to take a long time. It does give us better core mining, but still. Uh, 500 is kind of a lot, and we need Bioscience Pack 2 to get the next one. We need energy science to get space rail. You know what? If I'd looked at this more carefully, maybe I wouldn't have designed that main bus base. Literally just get 60 energy science and then start building a rail base. It's fine. We'll still build the, the chunker base. Um, what else we got here? Astronomic Catalogue 2. Is that just like a more efficient version of Astronomic Catalogue, or is it more difficult, or both? Requires... Yeah, no, that's more difficult. We'll get to that a bit later, I think. Uh, we didn't do this one yet. And that opens up a few things. Bioscrubber. Material processing chamber that utilizes, utilizes biological processes to break down unwanted materials. Probably going to need that at some point. Better life support. Not terribly excited about that. Biogun is pretty damn powerful. More importantly, almost, um, I'm kind of looking forward to not having items that can't be found by the logistic network because I can't make a request. I did observe the same. I often give shield to lead spider and the rest get none. Interesting. You could definitely prioritize shields on the front one and a lot more dacker on the rest of them. 
message the jetpack author, make them Spidertron friendly. That would be pretty awesome. Um, you know what? Even if with the remotes, if Spidertrons had jetpacks, even if all it did was help them jump over like small to medium sized gaps uh, when they run into water, that alone would be very nice. Uh, how many spiders we got now? Two more. I definitely want to keep playing with the spiders for now. One, two. Missing laser. Wait, did we not automate lasers? I'm sure we did. Uh, we may not have. Argo cannon shoot spiders. <laughs> that would maybe be a bit OP. Okay, what was I looking for again? Laser... Okay, we have not automated personal lasers. I'm surprised I had so many if I handcrafted them all. Uh, let's put you here. GTA Orbital Cannon Mod? GTA? I think there's an ion cannon like Command and Conquer. Can I not click on this? Here we go. What was I doing again? Personal lasers. Very personal lasers. That's a lot of glass, kind of. Uh, stop at 50. And I think this stacks to like 20, doesn't it? I don't know. This will be enough. Okay. You've already got what you need. You are missing one personal laser. And I am missing some robopods. There we go. Three thousand hit points with good resistance, you mean without the shields? Uh, 3,000, and I don't, I can't see the resistances there. What if I, I don't think they have any resistances. I think only players get that. Well, not players, uh, not just players, uh, biters and stuff as well. Yeah, it's just straight up 3,000 hit points. Still missing the personal laser. And there it is. Okay. Seeing quite a lot of rockets here. Uh, which one is the leader? It is you. And away they all go. Cool. Since we know the planet is finite, I'm actually almost tempted to just 
use spiders to clear it out. As a soothing podcast activity. Can you color the leader? I can. That might be a good idea. Um, where'd they go? Let's make you a bit brighter. Yeah, that should be enough. Let's make them stop and see. I think I could tell those apart pretty easily. Let's uh let's do it blind and make sure. That one's the leader. That makes them a little more resistant than Power Armor Mark II. Uh, I suppose so. Not gonna lie, I like that sound. And meanwhile, our construction spiders can actually get this job finished. And probably this one as well. Don't know if I'll get it all done without me doing anything, any more clicks, but still. Bio scrubbers at 60%. It's probably stopped there for a while. Like we ran out of uh, accumulated bioscience, probably. No, everything looks like it's in motion. Well, I mean, it should be anyway. We didn't stop the loop, at least. Uh, let's not lose sight of our spiders at the wrong time. Didn't mean to do that, though. Yeah, we're approaching a critical mass of spider here. I think I'll keep going to about 20. So that an attack like this would not be scary. It's mostly only scary because they have the slow... It's unfortunate. Wait. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can't get Spidertrons to logistic supply other Spidertrons, right? If you could, I would make a spider like a support Spidertron to repair and rearm them. But since they have to go back to base to get rockets anyway, I'm not going to do that. Next is Biogun. That's kind of a scary base. That's very much a scary base, actually. Nope. Nope. What are we... flamethrowers? Can they have flamethrowers? No, they can't. I'm not sure I would trust the spiders with flamethrowers. 
considering what they do with nukes. Alright. That's about enough of that, I think. Actually, I mean, if we... If we're really careful, could probably clear this base out, but I would rather get them repaired. Okay. I just have the AAI chain gunners. Oh, chain gunner is very OP. I'm pretty sure you can build the chain gunner before you can build a car. Um, and it's literally a turret on treads, like a gun turret. It's something like 10 red science after you get vanilla gun turrets um, to put them on wheels, to put them on treads. Um, so I play without them, honestly. Uh, but yeah, I think that is just about going to wrap it up for today. Uh, let's see who is streaming Factorio this time. And we'll give him a little raid. What was... What's that for? We got a couple of the usual suspects. Uh, Twitch plays Factorio? Okay, I'm gonna need to see that. Let's all drop in on Chat Plays Factorio. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Did I save this? I think I did. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any uh, questions or requests or anything, by all means, let me know. And thanks for stopping by. Take care, guys.